everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Brewstew reaction. This one is called Brewstew Dial-Up. Alright, so let's get into this right here, right now. Go subscribe to Brewstew Films. Make sure to watch the original down below. And let's get it in 3, 2, 1. Let's check this out. Alright, now when I was growing up, the internet was still very much in its infancy. Windows 98. No Classic. I what? grew up the with internet? XP. Who the hell's the internet? It wasn't until one day I was in school in the computer lab and I watched a kid bypass the firewall and look up cheat codes for the Sony PlayStation. Well, holy hell, after that, I was hooked. I mean, sure, it was dial up back then and it took 47 minutes to navigate three web pages, but I'll be damned, that kid unlocked Sweet Tooth on Twisted Metal 2. If that's what the internet had to offer, sign me up. So I start hoarding all those AOL trial CDs that they'd send you in the mail like some kind of maniac. I got 40,000 hours of free internet, nothing can stop me now. That didn't make a difference because oh, all boy. the home was old as hell. I mean, the thing was built when the fucking flock of seagulls were popular. Didn't have a web browser or Microsoft Paint or that sweet ass space cadet pinball game that everybody blew ass at. No, it was just a fucking DOS prompt screen blinking you in the face. Nobody in my whole household knows how to use the damn thing. Uh, how oh. do I make the fun things pop up on the screen? Oh, I don't know. What the fuck do I look like? I'm afraid of that goddamn thing. Turn it off. So for the most part, our computer doesn't even like the <laughs> like the computer. Time. Basically a piece of furniture at this point. Well, damn. No one's I even using it. After all. But that's all right because my friend David had a computer and unlike my flock of single piece of shit, his was made much more recently. Like, uh, like circa Lou Bega Mambo number no. five time. The trumpet. And what was even better is his ass had Roller Coaster Tycoon. And back then, Roller Coaster Tycoon was bigger than Bill Clinton. Everybody in the goddamn neighborhood would go over to David's house and play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Hell, David didn't even exist to us as a person back then. We'd all be hanging out in the front yard. Dang. Hey, want to go over to Roller Coaster Tycoon's house? Oh, uh, you bet your ass I do. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, do you guys want to go jump on the trampoline or something? No, piss off. We're drowning people in the lake and shit. Fuck trampolines. <laughs> But as great as Roller Coaster Tycoon was, it was a total game changer when David's mom got dial-up internet at his house. And I remember that weekend very vividly. Because that was the weekend that me and Michael stayed the night at David's house and pirated a bunch of music off the internet. As soon as David's mom went to bed, David oh, boy. Him, was like, Have you guys ever heard of Napster.com? Napster.com? What the hell's that? What if I Napster. told you that we could have, in our possession, every Limp Biscuit and Weird Al Yankovic song known to man? Get the fuck out of here. Even the Nookie? Yes, even the Nookie. Oh, oh my God. God. I believe it. So our asses hop on David's blazing fast 96k modem. Oh my God. Holy hell! Why is your Insane. R2D2 having a stroke. Oh, that's just the sound the internet makes. What the hell is the it? internet it's makes that? Oh yeah, cause I think my router does that too. Metallica to this day is probably still looking for a kid in a Scotty Pippen jersey to serve a subpoena to. And sure, it took 45 minutes for a single song to download. But that didn't keep us from downloading like every WWF entrance music known to man. Oh, no, no, no. Don't copyright my ass. Don't do it. Whatever. Don't even think about it. And I wish it would have stayed that way. But things decide to get a little weird when Michael decides to log into an AOL chat room. I know what you're thinking. What's the worst that could happen with a bunch of children talking to a bunch of random strangers on the internet at 3 in the morning? Well, let me tell you. First off, Michael does what any 8-year-old would do on the internet. He tells everybody that he's a 22-year-old woman. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go for it. I'm a 22-year-old big booty woman, and I'm looking for big booty bitches to talk to. Michael, what the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to talk to big booty bitches. What does it look like? I think it's safe to say that nobody was fooled in that chat room. I mean, for one, you got Michael's broken ass second grade spelling. And for two, we're under David's mom's screen name. And that math sure as hell doesn't add up. Boy, this butterfly kisses 1964 either sucks at math or is a fucking second grader. I guess I'll take my chances. So all of a sudden, we start getting instant messages left and right. David starts freaking out at this point. Dude, just turn it off. My mom's gonna kill us. No way, dude. I'm talking to big booty bitches. Look at this chick's trying to send me a picture right now. We look over, and sure as hell, there's a picture slowly loading. Y'all ready to see some big booty bitches or what? Well, finally, this picture loads. And it's safe to say it's not a big booty bitch. Instead, it's a grown ass man licking a fucking egg beater. Oh, shit, what oh the God. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. I have no idea who that guy was or what kind of hey, yo. she had with this kitchen. All I knew is that and, I was done with the internet. There's a okay, that's enough of that shit. Uh, no more internet. PlayStation? Yeah, let's go play Sony PlayStation. And that was the end of it. Or at least that was the end of it for me and David. Michael, on the other hand, decided to keep on exploring the wondrous wonders of the World Wide Web. Who knows what the hell that eight-year-old was exposed to that night. All I know is oh, that boy. Michael, so Michael, there. Michael. Michael's over there looking like he just fucking stormed the beaches of Normandy. Do you guys know if it's possible? to unsee things that you've already saw? I have so many questions, 
And so few answers, Unless he watched I porn. When David's mom gets up and she sees a bunch of pop-ups littered all over her computer screen. Boys, get your asses in here right now. Why does my computer oh. have AIDS all of a sudden? And who Googled big booty bitches 47 times? Michael Stew.com. Aaron Kemp. Or Aaron Kemp. There we go. I, still, I, I need to follow them on Twitter and Instagram, honestly. I haven't done that yet. But I might. Um, anyways, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Bruce Stew Films. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. There, guys. Thanks for watching. And deuces.